After looking through some old pieces, I figured since Taylor Swift is on her Eras tour, I wanted to show you my Eras, but in art. So here is every piece of art I've made in the past 10 years. First, I have what we call the Post Pencil Celebrity Reels Amera. <laughs> a mouthful, but basically this is where I transitioned out of making photorealistic pencil drawings of celebrities, which I feel like a lot of young artists did when they first started out. I experimented with colors and animals, and I tried to move away from drawing people entirely. Then I take my first bat at watercolors. I would say some questionable pieces here that doesn't really show off too much skill. Honestly, like maybe I was just trying to be modest. <laughs> I just thought I was being artsy or something, but um, yeah, not so great in the beginning. And then I called this my impressionism era. It's a, it's a flop era for sure. I was just kind of like copying people. I was trying to find my own art style. But honestly, what do painters do when we have no original thoughts? Where do we turn? Pinterest, duh. In this era, if I attempted to sell my art even once, I'm pretty sure copyright lawyers would beat my ass. Like, where is this building from? Pinterest. That weird mountain painting? Actually, not Pinterest. But that Greek isle painting. Pinterest. And then these postcard art with a flair of corporate Memphis used by Big Tech. Also Pinterest. Okay, now I started incorporating art into my studies during college. So I'll give you a second, take a guess what I studied. Go on, go on, take a guess. You're wrong, it was chemistry. Cause we're all watching like communications majors finally quit their nine to five corporate life to be a full-time YouTuber. I was immersed in the sciences and then art was kind of just like my hobby. So bear with me now. COVID-19 has swept the nation. We begin an era of six feet at all times unprecedented times. And also, I hope this email finds you well. So my brain dove headfirst into the art of escapism and I escaped into that Harry Potter world. Do you remember when like TikTok was doing the whole like shifting into Hogwarts or whatever? I was riding a parallel wave. So the next pieces from 2019 to 2020 are all Harry Potter themed. So just, just hold on to your seats and this presentation will be over soon. Okay, are you still with me? Still with me? Okay, cool. <laughs> so I bought these Micron ink pens that have really, really fine tips. And I started doing a lot of illustrations with it. I will say that this Diagon Alley painting will continue to be one of the most detailed pieces I've ever worked on. And so is this replica of the Marauder's Map. If you look really closely, you'll see that I wrote out an entire page of the Half-Blood Prince on it. And when the spring of COVID vaccinations emerged, so has the emergence of florals, landscapes, and foliage into my art. I finally left the chokehold Pinterest had on me, and I started creating my own original pieces. I had a phase where I refused to leave my apartment, so I spent a lot of time on Google Earth for some reason, and that kind of became the primary inspiration for my art. I'd zoom into random places and I'd paint the first thing I saw, and that, and that improved my landscape skills really, really quickly. So if you're ever interested in like getting really good at painting landscapes, and you just don't really have anything to look but your own backyard, maybe try like walking around on Google Maps. Um, there are some cool things to see. And lastly, I consolidated all my art into a sketchbook, making it a lot easier on me and the environment. I've already made a sketchbook tour video on this channel, so I just, you know, skip ahead and... Here's something that wasn't in that video. My most recent painting of 2023. 
just a couple of quaint cottages and I also made a video on that, so please check that out. So do I have any parting words? Um, okay, let's see. I'm like pretending I'm talking to someone at a cafe or something and like explaining my decades of art. Honestly, I wouldn't really consider myself an artist. Some of the art that wasn't included was because I've sold them in commissions, sold some of them just to my friends, but I also scrap a lot of them. The reason why I wouldn't consider myself an artist, but merely someone who does art, is because I don't really do art as my primary profession. Do you have to do that in order to be considered an artist? Please let me know. I, I don't really know the definition of this. I didn't go to art school. I don't really know any famous painters. I haven't studied historical masters or anything. Um, but I would like art to be a strong presence in my life, but it's never going to be my primary job. I will, however, continue to create pieces that make me happy. And if you'd like to follow my journey, please consider supporting this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed all of these pieces from when I was 13 years old to, you know, you can do the math, 2023.